So in this video, we are going to use a number line to generate equivalent fractions. There's a lot of ways uh, for us to learn how to do that, and we're not going to just use that standard rule. Instead, we're going to make it a visual experience using the number line. So let's get started. <clears throat> All right, so I've got a bunch of um, copies of the exact same experience here. So let's zoom in on one of these, and there we go. So <clears throat> what we see is we've got this number line here, and it's it's representing two thirds. Why? Because I've cut it into from zero to one into three pieces and we're highlighting two of them. So there's two thirds. So I've copied it down here. Now, if I were to take this thing right here, which is two thirds, right? And if I were to take each of these intervals and I don't know, let's just cut it into um, one, you know, into two pieces. So I'll draw one little line to create each of these into two pieces. So all of a sudden, even though I haven't really changed anything other than adding in these extra lines, we see right here, this two thirds is no longer two thirds. Like if I wanted to know, like what fraction is, oopsies, what fraction is this guy right there? Well, I would count one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So the denominator is six and one, two, three, four. So this dot right here represents no longer two thirds. It represents four sixths. So we see that two thirds is the same thing as four sixths. So, oops, like, yeah. So let's do the same thing. So let's kind of zoom in and figure out what would what would happen. So I've got the same kind of thing here. It's still two thirds and here's my identical copy. And then what if I were to cut, I don't know, these into uh, three pieces each. So I'm gonna use two lines to cut each of these into three pieces. And what would this be right here, that dot? Well, we know that that dot used to represent two thirds and it still is two thirds, nothing really changed, but the name is going to change. Let's count, let's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we see that that dot is representing, uh, let's see if I can move us a little bit, that dot, is now representing six ninths. How did I get that? One, two, three, four, five, six. There, there's the six, seven, eight, nine, six ninths, all right? And then let's zoom out and let's zoom in one last time, just for good measure. So let's cut these um, into four pieces. So I'm gonna use three lines to cut each of these into four four pieces, all right? And if I wanted to know where is two thirds, so now I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that dot, not only is it represented by two thirds, but it's the exact same thing as eight twelfths. So I can zoom out and we can kind of summarize our thinking. We could say, well, two thirds was equal to four sixths. That's right here. And then we can say two thirds was equal to six ninths. And that's right here. And then we can finally say two thirds was equal to eight twelfths, and that's right here. Now how, just to recap and really hit this home, we can see that two thirds is equal to four six right here, because they're kind of right on top of each other. Two thirds is equal to six ninths. We can see that two thirds is equal to eight twelfths. So following that same idea, we can uh, understand the relationships between three fourths and other fractions that are the same thing as three fourths. So I, now there is my exact copy. 
of three fourths. And if I wanted to, oh, I should label this zero and I should label that one. Good. So now if I wanted to figure out what is a different fraction, a different name for three fourths, really all I have to do is choose a number of pieces to cut each one of these into. For example, if I use two lines, I'm actually going to, well, let's just do one line. If I do one line in between, I'm cutting each of these into two pieces. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. And I'm going to say, okay, cut each one of these into two pieces. So I'm going to use one line to cut each of them into two pieces. And then what we can see is where is this dot? This dot is equal to 3 fourths, but it's got a new name. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that dot is now 6 eighths. All right. And if I wanted to, let's do the same thing right here. So let's draw our number line. And there's our zero, there's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. So there's our one whole. And so if I wanted to figure out what is another name for that dot right there, three fourths. Well, all I have to do is choose a number to cut each of these into. Like how many pieces do I wanna cut each of these into? Well, if I wanna cut each of them into three pieces, and I just chose three. I could have chosen any number. I'm going to use two lines to cut each of them into three pieces. And then when I count, count the dots, count the spaces to figure out where this dot is, that dot is still three fourths, but it has a new name now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So that fraction is now nine twelfths. All right, so if we wanted to summarize our discovery, we could say that three fourths was equal to six eighths. And we can also say that three fourths was equal to nine twelfths. And that wraps up this video where we were using the visual representation of a number line to show how and why uh, different fractions are equivalent or equal to each other.